G'day everybody, how you going? Today, again, it is so good to see you. Indeed, the trailer that wasn't now is. It's an eight-day cycle, and that's totally fine. As I said in the previous video, yes, we have Teaser 2 from Nikon, and there is so much that we can learn from this, and so much of it is exciting stuff. Probably the best way is simply to go chronologically through the teaser itself. I could go in an op I could go in the opposite direction, but I don't see the point. Let's go through this thing in chronological order and see everything that we can see. This is Nikon Z9 Teaser Trailer 2 Breakdown. Great to see here that uh, early on in the video, as the wonderful photographer jumps out of the Jeep, we can see the front of the camera. And as has been predicted for a pretty long time, there is going to be the three function buttons on the front, AKA the D5 and the D6. We've seen this before. And of course, uh, last week, we saw the fact that the fourth function button is on the rear of the camera. So that is all very clear. We've got four ergonomically pleasing function buttons that I'm sure we can program to do a ton of different things. And uh, as has been pointed out, that third function button down towards the bottom is actually a little bit moved towards a more reasonable reach from the vertical orientation, which I think is a great move and would seem to come out of it being used and feedback. And that is just simply great ergonomics, which is the sort of thing that we expect from Nikon. When we look at this frame, and I have to say my immediate reaction when I first saw this was, that lens just has slightly more heft to it than the 70 to 200. But then in the very next shot, there is pretty much a 70 to 200, thus confusing. And this is basically like a magic trick. You kind of show us something, then you show us the same thing, but not the same thing, and it confuses us. And we're not sure. Now, this is a teaser trailer. My guess is it's completely deliberate. It's there to make us go, ooh, ah, ooh, what's that? And that's exactly what we're all doing. And again, as has been theorized in my comments based on my previous video, when we talked about the fact that this trailer was unofficially released about 10 hours before it was officially released. So a lot of us got to see this a while ago, but I decided not to make a video about it at the time and to let Nikon do their thing because that trailer was pulled down. Anyway, here it is, it's back, and there was some conversation around it. And I did scrutinize some of the images and thought, oh no, that's 70 to 200. And it is a 70 to 200 in some of the shots. But I do agree now, having reassessed and seeing a higher quality version, which is what I suggested I needed to see to be sure, I do agree that that other lens, it might just be slightly larger around the girth. And I really think the only lens that's on the roadmap that could fit this is the 100 to 400. So that is very exciting for a lot of people and hopefully it's part of Z9 launch day coming soon. Let's keep moving. Now here we have the back of the camera. We have a lock on the car door. That's something that some people have been asking for. So that is absolutely fantastic. I don't think there's a lot else that we can see here that we didn't see in the previous teaser. We can see the top plate of the camera now, but it doesn't really tell us much about actually the types of information that's there and what type of top plate it is. I do get the feeling that it might be slightly larger than the ones that are on the Z6 and the Z7, just because I think that's a thinner camera and this is a much chunkier camera. I might be wrong about that. And of course it might be slightly larger and have exactly the same information, but why not use it as an opportunity to have more? 
And then I think the most exciting thing for me in this video is the confirmation that video can now be recorded for longer than 30 minutes or 29 minutes and 59 seconds. In this video, we are seeing 8K 30P being recorded for one hour and 20 minutes. Now we have no idea whether this is just an arbitrary number for this video and that it's unlimited, don't know whether it's uh, constrained by the size of your card or whether it's constrained by overheating. The interesting thing for me is, is that this does appear to be Africa. It's probably hot and it's doing 8K 30P for one hour and 20 minutes. I would have thought if you're gonna overheat, you probably would overheat by now. The Z9 is obviously a much larger camera than the A1 and the R5. So its ability to dissipate heat would be, well, much higher. So this, this just bodes super well for all the sorts of different, different video options that we might want, which is things like 4K, 120p, and maybe 1080p in something like 240 frames per second. Who knows? But that's what we're getting here. Now, it's really interesting. The photographer in the video presses the record button on the camera. There is no sign of an external recorder and then the camera is shooting 8K 30p and it's shooting it for one hour and 20 minutes. My guess is that the camera can do 8K 30p internally, whether it's 8-bit or 10-bit or RAW, we don't know at this stage, but I certainly think it can do some, if not all of those internally, because there was no sign of an external recorder anywhere in this teaser trailer. So look, this is this is a great sign for the camera being super powerful, having an absolutely amazing internal processor, having a very fast sensor, being able to do it all efficiently and perhaps all from a battery. Again, we didn't see any external battery sources. We're starting to get the vibe off a video like this that it's a fast, powerful camera that can do all of this stuff without really breaking a sweat, which is what I'm starting to do here in my almost Nikon yellow jacket. But again, I feel it's appropriate for the occasion, so I'll sweat a little bit. So there you have it. This is teaser number two. I suppose we're getting, as we move forwards here, we're getting kind of more hard evidence about what is unfolding. We've learned a lot about the camera. We still don't know the megapixels, but I think it's settled at 45. And again, all the details around codecs and bit rates and top ISOs and bottom ISOs and dynamic range and what exactly is the stacked BSI sensor and the processor inside, what is it gonna be capable of? Well, all those things we're yet to find out, but I think based on this cycle, even so it was eight days. I have a feeling it won't be eight days. I do think it'll be another week. I'm, I'm not sure what Nikon did here by uh, putting putting out this video eight days and releasing a lens just a few hours, but anyway, that's, it's all good. We're here. Again, I continue to be happy because we're moving forward. This is forward movement. There's two videos to go and then there's a launch. I would like to think it's one week, another week for video number three another week for video number four, and at worst, another week after that for launch, or it'll be on four. So one or the other, we're two or three weeks. That is my, that is my current prediction. Let's uh, really look forward to uh, seeing whether that comes true. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for joining me for teaser number two breakdown as we head towards this absolutely milestone moment in Nikon's world, the Z9. It's absolutely one of the biggest things. I actually think it's bigger than the D3 moment because, of course, this is their first mirrorless flagship. The D3 was not their first DSLR and it was not their first SLR. This is their first mirrorless flagship. So it's huge for that reason, and it's huge because it's super important to Nikon's future. So I'm glad to be riding this roller coaster with you and the rest of the world. It's gonna be a lot of fun the next few weeks. Please tell me in the comments below, what do you think? Is that the 100 to 400 in some of those shots? Do you think the Z9 is doing that 8K internally? And what do you think it's doing internally?
Oh, and we, we can see it's recording to card two. I don't know if that's particularly telling us anything in particular. If anyone has thoughts, again, let me know in the comments below. All right, everybody, lovely to see you. If this is your first time here, please do subscribe, like, share, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.